good day you're welcome to lush fashion we'll be looking at how to make peplum that can stand today we'll be looking at how to make double peplum that's 72 degrees so you calculate your radius by using width of the flare divided by six so you mark on the straight dotted line then we are marking our length as you can see so we'll mark our length i'm going to cut off the radius i've marked so i've cut it off i'm just measuring the length so you measure it round then you cut your flare out just cut like so use the first flare to cut the second one like you see just cut so you, you see we have our flare i'm going to split it into two and join it together i'm pinning it first then i'll sew so i'm going to sew it along the line i pinned like you see so i'm done sewing you can see what i have Next, I'm going to sew the crinoline to the lining and the fabric. So I'm placing the lining on the fabric, then I'm pinning the crinoline to it. So just pin. Ensure you place the lining on the right side and sew with 0.5 in seam allowance. So I'm done pinning. I'm going to sew. I've sewn it and I've turned. I'm turning to the right side, like you can see. You can iron to make the peplum stay, you know, nicely. So next up, I'm going to turn my fabric to the right side, place the fabric with the crinoline on the scuba fabric. So I'm placing the fabric itself on the bodice. Then I'm pinning, I'm pleating, I'm making box splits like you can see. So I'm making box split first with the main fabric to make my peplum, you know, have that wavy effect. So just keep pleating and pleating and you see your wave come out like you see my peplum top. So now I'm going to place the scuba fabric over the peplum I pleated as a fabric itself. I'm placing it on it and I'm also making the same box split. So box split seems to be the secret to having you know your weaves beside just cutting the 72 degrees flare. Click on the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You see more videos every week.